In classic war films, directors tend to simultaneously tell two stories at once. The story of what the soldiers did, and what was going through their minds while doing it. Subjectivity is a crucial element to these films as it allows the audience to get inside the minds of the characters and experience war from a completely new perspective. Sir, I have an opinion on this matter. Well, by all means, share it with the squad. Don't get me wrong, the physical struggles that the characters face on the battlefield are important as well, but without seeing how such a traumatic experience impacts the characters' minds, war films might seem a bit shallow. Steven Spielberg's Saving Private Ryan revolutionized the way in which war stories were told on screen. Unlike the war films of the past, Saving Private Ryan uses subjectivity to allow the audience to connect with the characters in a more visceral way. We are reminded that the soldiers aren't just boots in a uniform, but real people with real feelings and emotions as well. This isn't just a story about World War II, it's a way of seeing war through the eyes of those who fought it. I mean, there's barely hardly hey, enough asshole. of this. Two of our guys already died trying to find you, all right? The film follows a group of rangers during World War II led by Captain Miller, played by Tom Hanks, on a mission to rescue Private James Ryan. The famous opening scene is filled with certain elements that allow the audience to see what is going on through Miller's head as hell is unleashed around him. The cinematography plays a huge part in achieving this sensation. The shaky camera angles allow the viewer to feel the explosions and vibrations of the scene, while also giving the footage an unstable and chaotic feel. In fact, Spielberg did not storyboard the film at all. He wanted the camera angles to be inspired spontaneously by the action. As a result, the viewer is placed directly into the chaos of war, just like Captain Miller. Let's go. There's even a few point of view shots in an effort to portray the scene from Miller's perspective. It actually took me a few times to realize that this is a first person shot from Miller's point of view. The most subjective moment of the entire scene, however, is the shell shock sequence. The sound of the battle fades out as we retreat inside Miller's mind as he attempts to comprehend the turmoil around him. Here the audience really gets a sense of what is going on through his head, and not only do we see things from his perspective, but we also hear them from his perspective as well. There are a few other characters that are portrayed with strong subjectivity as well, such as Corporal Timothy Upham, an innocent, intellectual young soldier who is forced to tag along with Miller's squad because he speaks German. As an interpreter, Upham did not expect to enter battle, but now faced with life-threatening circumstances, he has to overcome the fear associated with combat. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> so there are, there are a lot of Germans in the village. You have a problem with that, Corporal? No, sir. Just if you consider I've never been in combat, sir. I make maps and I translate, and that's fine. Upham is like a civilian in a soldier's world, and gives the audience someone to relate to. There is a scene that illustrates subjectivity in Upham's character, in which a short encounter with the Germans is shown entirely from his perspective. From the opening scene, the audience already understands the chaos of combat. So instead of bringing us into the battle, we stay with Upham to see his reaction. By viewing the battle through Upham's scope, the audience is given an outsider's view of the brutality of war. But since the audience has become attached to the characters, and we are not given a close-up to make sure they are safe, this point of view shot also has the effect of making the viewer anxious. Just like Upham. Caught off guard by the brutal reality of war, Upham is like the audience members watching the first scene. Providing subjectivity for Upham's role is crucial because his character represents sanity. In war, barbarism is normalized and it's easy to forget that soldiers were once just average or regular people. Son of a bitch. 
Amidst total insanity, subjectivity from Upham provides a bit of sanity for the Watcher to hold on to. In the final scene, Upham struggles to keep himself together as Mellish wrestles with a German soldier. As the two engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, the camera follows Upham as he listens from downstairs. In this particularly heart-wrenching moment, Upham has the ability to save Mellish's life. But instead, we watch him break down as the German soldier prevails. Again, hearing and seeing this fight from Upham's perspective gives the audience an idea of the mental toll of war. It seems like a simple act to go up and shoot the German, but Upham reminds us of how much mental stamina is required to take a life. Subjectivity is also present in the character Private Jackson, the Bible-quoting sniper played by Barry Pepper. Be not that far from me, O oh Lord. In the final scene, we find ourselves looking down the scope of Jackson's sniper rifle. This camera angle gives the watcher a view from inside Jackson's mind. This fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer. This exclusive view demonstrates that while pulling a trigger may be a simple action, the act of killing is extremely personal. God grant me strength! This is amplified by the fact that Jackson will always quote the Bible before pulling the trigger. Blessed be the Lord my strength that teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Through this religious display, the audience sees how one might justify such a morally questionable act. As a result, we get the sense that Jackson can feel each kill fully. Also, we never see Jackson hesitate to pull the trigger, showing that he has no qualms about performing his duty. My shield, and he in whom I trust. Subjectivity in Jackson's character shows the audience how an individual is transformed by war to the point where killing becomes second nature. As I said before, this isn't just a story about World War II, it's a way of seeing war through the eyes of those who fought it. Without subjectivity, it would be much more difficult to connect with the characters in Saving Private Ryan, and this classic war film might not be so classic.